Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what not to eat when balancing hormones. So let's get started. So when balancing your hormones, the number one thing you want to do is you want to avoid pro-inflammatory foods. So that means that foods that are pro-inflammatory, they have an impact on your liver, they have an impact on your gut, they have an impact on your digestive system and other parts of the body that control your hormones, therefore putting them into balance. So the number one pro-inflammatory food that you want to avoid, hands down, is alcohol. Alcohol is a toxin, it is a poison, it's gonna wreck your GI system, it's gonna interfere with your liver, and the liver is where hormone detoxification occurs. So you definitely, number one, want to be avoiding alcohol. Number two, is all processed foods. These refined foods have a tendency to be very high in sugar. They have a tendency to have ingredients in them that are disruptive to the GI system. And they also slow down detoxification because your body is busy processing these types of things. Number three is coffee. Now, although coffee is not inherently bad, there's a few things you wanna know. For coffee, number one, it increases fibroid growth. So if you are dealing with ovarian fibroids, uterine fibroids, or fibroids in your breast, you want to cut out caffeine right away because it's going to increase the growth of those fibroids. The next thing is that it can overstimulate the adrenals for some people, and that's a problem. So number four, you're gonna to want to stay away from pasteurized juices. Number five, we want to stay away from refined carbs. We're talking about things in like the white bread, pastries, cookies, treats, things in that wheelhouse. And I know in the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, this time of year can be very challenging. It can be challenging any time of year, let's be serious, but you definitely want to be mindful of that. Now, number six is sweetened drinks. Just pass on that if you're, if you're thirsty. Drink water, if you need a little bit of something to it, add some carbonation, add a squeeze of lemon, add some cucumber, add some berries to it. There are a lot of ways you can naturally sweeten your beverages without it being sodas and whatnot. Number seven, red meats and processed meats. So processed meats, we're talking about hot dogs, we're talking about sausages, we're talking about pepperonis, salamis, you definitely want to steer clear of these processed foods that are not going to be aligned with what your body needs from the hormone perspective and from the food quality perspective. Number eight is hydrogenated fats, specifically margarine. That is just something you're gonna to wanna to stay away from. Number nine, unfermented dairy. Number 10, you wanna stay away from fried foods. Fried foods not only wreck your digestive system, fried foods have a tendency to be high in fat and high in carbohydrate. When you go high fat and high carb together at the same time, not only is that a recipe for fat gain, it is a recipe for disrupting the endocrine system. So number 11 is plant-based milks that have added sugars, added gums, thickeners, and agents. So. Specifically, we're talking about, you know, the almond milks and the oat milks and all that type of stuff, but it has added sugar. If it has cane sugar as one of the first ingredients, if it has carrageen and all these thickeners and whatnot and all these like artificial flavors, guys, you can find plant-based milks like a, like a plain unsweetened almond milk that doesn't have all the extra things in it. You don't need that stuff and that's stuff that you definitely want to steer clear of. So read those labels before you purchase. So number 12 is gluten containing foods, especially those that are going to be wheat based. This pro-inflammatory can definitely cause and just challenge the GI system and add additional inflammation that's not needed. And last but not least, refined sugar. So guys, if this list is discouraging to you, I want you guys to reframe the way you think and I want you to look at it as, okay, that's what I shouldn't eat, but what should I eat? What do I include? And if you want to learn of what you should include, I encourage you guys to invest in our 21 day hormone reset. Now, keep in mind, it's a 21 day plan, but I have people who do end up following it for six weeks and even longer. If you are interested in a free trial, the link is below to try out our free seven day hormone reset for you to get an idea of what you're getting into. So, 
questions or concerns, or if you were surprised by something on this list, please comment below and I will see you on the next one.